Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. In this video, I am going to show you how I created this bluish brown eye look using only drugstore makeup products. So like always, I first applied some eyeshadow primer. I did this off camera and the palette I'm gonna play with is by Revolution. I will make sure to put all the products I'm using in the description bar. For my crease area, I kind of wanted to warm it up using brown shade. So I started with this kind of a light, orangey shade which is going to warm up my crease area so i blended this all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner then i went in with a color which is called significant uh, which is a little bit darker but it kind of has the same undertone so i'm gonna do the exact same thing as i did with the other color just blending this from the inner corner to the outer corner kind of making circular motions with my brush making sure that this shade is like nicely blended into my crease also kind of making round motions around the outer V of my eyelid. Then now for the next step I'm gonna take this color which is called Ultra. It's kind of like a brown color with a reddish undertone and I'm gonna focus mainly with this shade first in the outer V area. I kind of pack on the product with my brush and then I also kind of make circular motions to blend it out. I kind of had a problem with blending out this shade in particular. It didn't really blend out, out the way I wanted it to be. So I went back in a few times with this color to kind of make or try to make it look better. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that I had a problem with that shade. So now I went in with this black eyeshadow, which is from the brand Catrice. And I'm using this because the palette itself doesn't have a black eyeshadow and I really wanted to use a black eyeshadow. So I'm kind of doing the same as I did with the brown shade, kind of packing that in the outer V and blending it out. Then I went in with the color Breeze, kind of like packing this on. Um, at the beginning part of the eyelid. I wanna create kind of like an ombre from light to dark. So that's why I'm starting with this kind of light white shade. Then I'm going in with the color Who, which is a kind of sky blue shade. Uh, using a MAC 242 brush and pressing this in the center part of my eyelid. I personally prefer using my finger with a shade like this. So first I use the brush and then I quickly went in with my finger because I always say this in my videos but using a shimmery color on the eyelid um, you might as well just go in with your finger because it gives so much more color payoff in comparison to when you would use a brush so now I'm using the color Lagoon and I'm gonna apply this kind of softly on top of the blue like not all the way like over that sky blue shade but kind of midway and then towards the outer V. So you will get a nice transition from light to dark. And then I went in with a clean brush and blended around the edges. Then going in with this Maybelline Studio Gel Eyeliner, I'm gonna use this to create a simple line above the lash line. So now when I have applied my eyeliner, I went in with the black eyeshadow from Catrice and used a tiny amount of that, kind of smudging it around the outer part of where the eyeliner stops just to make it less harsh. And then I went in with some concealer because the outer end of the eyeshadow wasn't looking really nice. So a nice trick is to use some concealer on a blending brush and kind of blend it right underneath the outer part or where you want kind of your eyeshadow to stop. And this will give a really soft effect. Now for the one line, I'm gonna use this pencil from Rimmel London, which is a really nice one. One of my subscribers uh, recommended it to me in the comment section and I purchased it, used it a few times on my YouTube channel and I have been really enjoying it. And I'm gonna go back in one more time with the black eyeshadow from Catrice using this with a really tiny brush from Suifa Cosmetics and kind of like pressing this right underneath the lower lash line. And also kind of on top of the waterline to kind of make it as black as possible. Then now using a tiny blending brush, uh, which I think is from Morphe and using that Lagoon shade again. And I'm gonna use this color to blend out the lower lash line. I absolutely love blue colors, which kind of have this undertone 
um, it's just so pretty. I especially really like it on brown eyes, which I unfortunately don't have, but I really love that color on brown eyes. So now I went back in with a light color and used it in the inner corner of the eye. And then I went in with this mascara, which is I think also from Rimmel. Not my favorite mascara. I felt like it's actually really thin and it doesn't really make my lashes look very long. Um, which kind of sucks. It did look nice on my lower lashes, but it's definitely not the best I have tried. Wouldn't really recommend it to be honest. So now I went in with some fake lashes to finish off the whole eye look. And that's also the last step. Of course, if you recreate this, you don't have to use fake lashes, but I definitely think it completes the whole makeup look so yeah this is the finished result i really hope you all enjoyed watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already i will put some links in the description bar with similar eye looks in case you need some more inspiration with blue and brown eyeshadow so make sure to check out the description box and yeah thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you all in the next one bye guys